there's there's no way that anything can go wrong. Hello everyone, welcome to the Edward White Audio Thoughts. This is story time. This is where I just talk to a subject matter for around 10 to 20 minutes. Um, it varies on, on what I'm going through in life and it varies on the different things that are happening around me and then I just talk to that subject matter. And this week I wanted to talk about what if it doesn't work? Um, so I'll give you a little bit of a backstory and then this will make this clear. I'm starting a new business and it's going to be a candle business and it's going to start with my starting with my mum. Um, so we're just in the process of, of making the candles and uh, sort of getting behind the science of candles, which there's a, a big science, which I didn't realise, but it's quite interesting and it's something that I'm getting geeky about, so yeah, it's good. Um, but what, one evening when I was talking to my mum, I said, do you have any sort of reservations or any uh, worries or anything like that? And she said, um, she's like, what if it doesn't work? And I, this really got me thinking because I was like, I don't ever think I've thought that. Like, I've never thought, what if it doesn't work? It's always been like, if it doesn't work, then you, you just, you've learned a lesson. Um, the, the saying by Thomas Edison, I wasn't wrong, there was, it, it wasn't wrong, there was just 10,000 ways it wasn't right. Um, and I really do think this is like, anything, anything substantial, anything that you're starting, anything that you're doing, it's not gonna be perfect, it's not gonna go right all the time. Um, and for me, I think that's where people there's a differentiator of people who succeed in life and people who just let life happen to them. Um, those who succeed understand that like life isn't just a straight curve of like, sorry, I'll do it that way because I'll be on the, right on the camera. Life isn't just a straight upward curve of, oh yeah, this, this is the point I'm at now. This is where I want to be. Perfect. Like, Life is going to be up, down, up, up, down, down. And you have no control over that. You have no control over the outside forces. So no one knew that a pandemic was going to come and sweep the world. No one knew that any of this was going to happen. Like, no one predicted it. Um, there's no way you could have predicted it. And I think... If you have the mindset of like, yeah, you can get A from A to B just like that, then you're not gonna succeed because anytime something bad does happen, which it will, it will inevitably, inevitably, you're just gonna crash and crumble and you're gonna be back at zero again. Um, and I think for me, like, I say like a lot, by the way. I've, I've been listening to my podcast and I do say like a lot, so I need to stop it. But for me, I just have a real clear vision of things. And I know, I, I, know, I, I like this about me. This is a trait I like about me, is I know that it's going to be hard and I know that it's gonna, I'm going to have setbacks. But like I, anything I've ever done um, since starting that live and since leaving my job, I've never thought, I can't do this, it's just too hard. Like, I've, don't get me wrong, I've had days and even sometimes weeks where I've just been not on it and it's not gone to plan and everything just feels like a struggle, everything feels really hard. And they're, they're hard, they're like really hard to get through and really hard to see light at the end of the tunnel and to get back on track. But I do think there's there's no way that anything can go wrong. Maybe I'm just a hopelessly optimistic and hopelessly 
yeah, just a, a realist, really. Like, I, I think... I don't think you can make mistakes. I genuinely don't think, because any mistake that you do make is a future lesson. And that in itself is, if anything, a lesson is, is more beneficial because then you're not going to make that mistake again. That you're not going to, I'm not going to do something wrong that I've done before. Um, so like, for example, in at live, not having clear terms for the client regarding work and ownership and IP and everything like that has led me to have issues before, um, which is now why I put into my terms and put into my work terms, put it into the proposal before they've even started working with me, the terms of, of working with at live and, and what, what it brings. Um, but I wouldn't, I would never have known that if I didn't do it wrong. And it's, uh, it sounds like a negative word, but like, I think, yeah, make mistakes, make, make mistakes. It's, well, don't go out there to make mistakes, but like, don't dwell on the fact that you have made a mistake or that you've, done something wrong because you haven't you've just learned that for me is a main message I'm trying to get it across in this video I mean if you if you look at anyone any anyone who's done anything um, relatively big or, or this is examples like Richard Branson and um, oh my god my mind's gone blank the founder of Airbnb oh, I don't know his name um, yeah the founder of Airbnb basically where Airbnb started was it was a it was a group of guys who had a place in Austin Texas and there's a big, big um, marketing music event called um, South by Southwest, which loads of tech companies, loads of marketing companies, loads of agencies go. And the, the hotel spaces and the other um, hospitality spaces get filled up like almost like a year in advance. And these guys said, well, why don't people like rent their homes out for a day? or two, or a week. And then they, so they decided to do it. They um, set up a website, and I think it was called Air Bed and Breakfast, and they basically hired, uh, they basically bought air mattresses, and people paid them to stay at their house on these air mattresses, so it was Airbnb. Um, and he said that like the website just crashed because there's so many people looking for spaces that they were like, oh, okay. <laughs> and um, yeah, it, it was really interesting to, to learn about this. I, I learned it from a Tim Ferriss podcast and I will, I will link it somewhere either above or, or down below in the, com in the um, information. And I, I highly recommend that you take a listen to it. It's, it's humbling to know that a company that big made mistakes. And I think that's one of the first time that I've, I've heard something that really resonated with me. And it, yeah, it, it didn't just feel like one of those stories that people tell to <coughs> uh, the, the stories that people tell to like be the, the underdog because I, I don't think those work. I think genuinely you're gonna make mistakes. Genuinely you're gonna, you're gonna fuck up. It's just, it's life, life fucks up. Life doesn't go the way that you planned it. Things don't happen, but you learn. And I think those are the real differences is those who learn, are those who actively learn. And then you'll, you'll make a switch and you'll keep going. Um, yeah, I wanna know 
what is the biggest mistake that you've made? Like mistake in quote marks that you've made and how did you learn from it and what did, how did you grow? Um, let me know in the comments below. Let's start a discussion and I th yeah, I think it'll be interesting to find out and I think talk to other people and yeah, and engage with other people really. Um, thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for listening if you're listening on the podcast. Um, if you could subscribe on YouTube, that would mean so much. And yeah, I just want to say thank you. Thank you for watching. My, I'm averaging about four listeners on, on Spotify and uh, Apple Music. Um, so if you are in those core cool four listeners, I want to say thank you. Um, yeah, have a great day. Bye.